This video is an introduction to the curve analysis tools in Recipe. You can find these tools under the curve tab and all the way to the left. Before going through each of these um, individual components in a following video, I want to give you a quick primer on three important concepts that you need to understand whenever you're using any of the curve analysis tools. And that is the curve domain, the curve length, and the curve parameter, and how these concepts kind of interact, how they differ, and uh, what to look out for. If you've already been using Rasper, and you're already an intermediate user, you might be familiar with these concepts. However, I still encourage you to watch this video um, to make sure that some of the misconceptions and common misconceptions that um, people might have about these concepts don't affect you. In the Grasshopper definition that we have right here, we have a collection of curves all the way on the left. First one is a simple line. We have this circle, a jagged polyline, this smooth curve, and this uh, compound curve where we have uh, both sharp edges but also smooth sections. And if we now look at the first concept, the curve domain, we can use the curve domain component to look at the domain of each of these curves. So for this closed compound curve, the domain goes from 0 to 949. Uh, this smooth curve has a domain from 0 to 810. The polyline and the circle also go from 0 to a seemingly arbitrary number. And one might be led to believe that this domain actually corresponds to the length of the curve. And for some curves, this is actually the case. So for example, the circle has a domain from 0 to 631, and the length is also 631. However, there are other curves, for example, this line, where the domain only goes from 0 to 1, and the length is actually much longer. And there are other curves, for example, this um, smooth curve we have right here, that, go, uh, that have a domain that go goes from 0 to 810, and the length is only 654. And this is kind of the first misconception that you um, uh, that I want to clear up is that the domain does not correspond with the length. It might, it can in some instances, but it's um, usually not the case and you should not uh, use the domain and the length of the curve interchangeably. The way we do any kind of analysis of a curve is by using um, parameters on a curve. And this is also this uh, last uh, concept that I want to explain before going into how these concepts kind of interact with one another and what to look out for. So if we look at this uh, evaluate curve component, then we see that we need a curve and a parameter to actually get a point on a curve. And this parameter needs to be within the domain of whatever curve we have uh, attached to the component. In this case, for example, we have 0 to 949. Let's take uh, this curve that has a domain from 0 to 810. And I have this number slider here that goes from 0 to 810. And so I can plug in this number slider into the evaluate curve component. And if I now go through this number slider, you can see 0 is the start of the curve whereas 810 is the end of the curve. Now, this is of course quite annoying. Each curve has a different domain and if we would want to iterate through the curve with a uh, number slider or any other kind of uh, way of creating numbers, we would always need to make sure that this is uh, within the domain of the curve. So we would always need to have uh, we would always need to have the domain of the curve as some sort of input here and make sure that uh, this is what we can use. And as soon as the curve changes, for example, we have this curve here, then of course um, the domains that we have here would not correspond anymore. And to use any kind of curve and evaluate any kind of curve, 
we have the possibility to reparametrize the curve. And we can do this, for example, on this curve param under uh, with a right click and selecting reparametrize. We could also do this on any input or any output of a component that um, has a curve as its input or output. But in this case, I will use this uh, um, uh, curve param component. And now you see that the curve that before we reparametrized it had this uh, domain from 0 to 687. And now its domain goes from 0 to 1. And this is now the case for any curve that is reparametrized. And so this gives us the possibility to uh, evaluate a curve and to look for parameters on a curve, um, no matter what kind of length or domain this curve might have. So now I can add a number slider from 0 to 1. And if I now evaluate a curve at any of these points, we can actually see that uh, uh, we can go from 0 to 1. And 0 is the starting point of the curve, and 1 is the end point of the curve. Now, even though we reparametrize the curve, that does not mean that um, parameter 0 0.5 is the middle of this curve. And we can check this with the component length parameter. And this component uh, takes a curve and a certain parameter and then gives us the length from the start of the uh, from the start of the curve to the parameter that it's given and the length from this parameter all the way to the end of the curve. And right now we have the parameter 0 0.5 and we have this jagged polyline. And we can see that parameter 0 0.5 is actually the middle of this curve. So um, from the start to parameter 0 0.5 is 343, as well as uh, and 0 0.5 to the end of the curve is actually the same length. However, this is not the case for other curves. For example, this uh, smooth line, where parameter 0 0.5 is not the middle of the curve. And instead, it's, uh, it's uh, slightly before the middle of the curve. So um, from 0 to parameter 0 0.5 is 306 units. And from 0 0.5 to the end is 347 units. Now, if we actually want to get the middle of a curve, we have a few ways of doing that. We can either use the curve middle component Whoops, it's of course not correct. We have to input the curve. And here we can see that now we have a point on this curve that actually corresponds to uh, the middle of the curve. This was the point at parameter 0 0.5, and this is the point that is actually in the middle of the curve. Another um, possibility we have is to evaluate the length of the curve. And here we can input the curve. Let me quickly create some more space here so that it's more um, a uh, bit more obvious where all of these things connect. And here we can then input a length. So one could, of course, uh, take the length of the curve. Divide it by 2. for now is normalized, but let's uh, put this to false. So um, let me make this clear with a toggle. So if the length is not normalized, we can take the length of the curve and um, divide it by two. And now we get this um, point that uh, is in the middle of the curve. So this is the same point as this curve middle. Um, but we can also normalize the length. And now we can actually take 0 0.5. Let me delete this here real quick, just to make sure that uh, this is as clear as it can be. And now the length or the point at length 0 0.5 that is normalized, that means that it's actually the middle of the curve. And so we could also, for example, use the um, 0 0.25 if we want to, for example, have the first quarter 
of the curve. And here you also see that the um, parameter 0 0.25 is not the um, first quarter of the curve, but instead a, cur uh, a different position. Now, the last concept that I want to show you is um, what happens if we evaluate a curve at a point that is not within the curve domain. For that, I will hide these here and also uh, drag them down here and actually get a number slider that does not go from 0 to 1, but instead it goes from 0 all the way to 3. And now if I use this as our input for the um, evaluate curve component, and we have a look at the point, we can see that all the way up to 1, of course, our curve is, um, is uh, evaluated. But as soon as uh, parameter 1 is or the parameter is larger than one, and since we have a reparametized curve, it only the domain only goes from zero to one. We can actually see that this uh, point leaves the curve and uh, seems to be doing something different. So now this is not a point on the curve anymore, but instead it is a point that um, where Grasshopper kind of guesses where this curve might go. So for example, in a straight line, this is simply uh, it's simply um, extends the line in a straight in a straight line um, for the circle it still stays on the circle simply because it, it basically uh, extends the the curvature of the circle so it even though we ha we are at a parameter that is larger than the domain we are still on the on the circle um, for the jagged polyline we actually leave this polyline and it's also um, yeah the curve is also extended in a straight line and um, for the closed line, we actually don't follow the line. So this is not the same as with the circle. So if we have a closed line, even though um, we might think that, um, for example, parameter 1.5 might be the same as parameter 0 0.5, instead the curve is also extended after um, its, its endpoint and um, uh, the point that results from the evaluation is actually not on the curve anymore. So this is also something that you need to look out for and need to understand whenever you're using uh, the evaluate curve component. So let's quickly recap. We have curve domains. Each curve has a domain. If the curve is not reparametized, this domain might be still be between 0 and 1 in case it's a line. It might be between um, zero and the actual length of the curve for some curves, for example, for circles and um, polylines. However, it's not the case for many other curves. And so you should really not um, uh, use the curve domain and the curve length interchangeably. If we evaluate a curve, we want to evaluate it at a certain parameter. And in order to make this easy for us, we use the uh, reparametize function on a curve to make sure that the domain goes from 0 to 1 and so parameter 0 is the start of the curve and parameter 1 is the end of the curve. The Even though the curve is reparametized, parameter 0 0.5 is not the middle of the curve or not always the middle of the curve. For some curves that's the case but Still, since uh, this is not the case for all curves, you should not uh, uh, confuse parameter 0 0.5 in a reparametized curve with the middle of the curve. And instead, we can either use the evaluate length component or we can use the curve middle component to really make sure no matter what kind of curve we input into our definition, uh, we actually get the, the middle of the curve and not just uh, parameter 0 0.5. So, I hope this was uh, clear. If you have any questions, you can either leave them below this YouTube video or um, contact me in other ways. And in the next video, we will actually look at the uh, analysis components for curves.